Is your family hurt? Oh, I'm all right, Bob. I think Betty's hurt. No, but it's a miracle I'm not. We must have fallen a thousand feet. It was terrible. Bob, those fiends have death. They're torturing him in one of these horrible rooms. We've got to get him out of here quick. Come on, Betty. Wait a minute, Tom. This devil's got some keys we might need. Well, hurry and get the keys, Bob. We've got to find Dad. Come on. Come on, Betty. Up these steps. Damn it, Tom. Let's see where this door leads to. All right, Bob. It may be a way out. an underground tunnel. This may be a way to the outside. If it does, it may be a good way to escape after we find your father. You're right, Betty. Now you two wait here, and I'll go ahead and investigate. All right, Bob. Betty, what is it? My head. Just a little dizzy spell. Must have been the result of that fall. From now on, Spike, keep your eyes open. Young Hood and Collins are tricky. They may have some friends planted along the road. All right, Gavin, go ahead. You're right, it's a tunnel leading to the outside. Now we'll go out and get Kate and park the car near the entrance to the tunnel so we'll be ready for a quick getaway when we find Dad. Now, come on.
road must be around here somewhere. I think it's over that way. Bob, you run over and see him. If it is, bring Kate in the car. All right. Kate, in the car. We found Mr. Hood. They got away, Dirk. Hood Collins and the girl. What? Yeah. They jumped me and knocked me out. And they took my keys. They got away through the tunnel. Well, where does later hear this news? You might as well clear out of the country. Well, I couldn't do that. Oh. Well, we sure stepped on it. We get here in time. Where are they? Both Collins and the Moore girl. Yeah? You tell him. I haven't got the heart. Here's the car, Tom. Kate, you and Betty wait here in the car and be ready to go when Bob and I bring Dad out. Kate will wait here. I may be able to help you. Besides, I've got to get the details of this rescue for my story. I can't see anything from here. So I'll go to the top of that hill across the road, and from there I'll have a good view of everything that happens around the house. Well, all right, Kate, but don't get too far away from the car. I won't. Come on, Bob. to jump in the car and go after young Hood and Collins. Take the shortcut through Red Rock Canyon and head them off before they get to town and notify the police. And see that you stop them. All right. Come on, Lefty. later on the phone. I want to talk to him. He'll be in his office at the Galconda building. All right. You know, Duran, I haven't got the nerve to face Slater after the blunder you pulled. I'm afraid this is our finish. Give me two points. 7705. Slater speaking. is gone. Now, either his friends have carried him away or he's gone away by himself. We've got to work fast. Now, Betty and I go on up ahead, and you follow at a distance. In the event that we need any more crooks, you cover up the rear guard. Now, come on, Betty. Here, take this. I took it away from that crook I knocked out, and we agreed there'd be no gunplay. And what? Yeah, but that was before they carried your father off. Here, take it. All right. Come on, Betty. you, Doc? Well, I'll settle with Dorian for his blunder. Tie up old Hood in the tank room. The police and nobody will find him there. And make him sign that order. All right, Slater. Father Hood will sign this order before I get through with him. They put old Hood in the tank and tie him up. And then let him read this order. Slater's sure clever. But it's going to be some job. Getting Potterhood to sign this order. Well, you see, Hood knows me as Detective Dane. So to protect Slater, I've got to keep undercover. Now go ahead and don't bungle. All right. Tom Hood and Bob Collins. Well, why ask me? 
We're going to know, and you're going to tell us. Well, if you must know, they've gone to the city for the police. Oh. Well, then why did they leave you here alone? So that I could tell them everything that has happened around this murderer's roost while they're away. Well, we'll just take you to them, and you can make your report. Well, all right, if you think you can overtake them. Well, don't worry about that. Come on and get in that car. We'll overtake them. Come on. Hey, Spark. Stay there. Forget her. We've got to stop putting Collins before they get to the police. Come on. Step on it, Lefty. We don't want to lose Hood and Collins. This is an outrage. You'll pay dearly for this. Come on, bring him in. Try him up to that post. Your friend will never find you here. Be careful, Betty. Betty, that looks like a door over there. Come on. That knife he sent me after. It's coming from my bathroom. You're right, Betty. They've got Bob. I'm going back to that door and I'll come out. I'll jump. I'll wait here. All right, you see that I'm getting the worst of it. Get back through the tunnel to the car, rush to town, and get Slater to bring the police. We've got to get Dad out of this. All right, go ahead. All right, that'll hold him. We left your right hand free. I told you to sign this order. Here, read it. So you won't read it, huh? Well, I'll read it for you. It's a receipt. Acknowledging the return to you of the full shipment of gold stolen with the last special and ordering the police to discontinue their investigation. You think it? I'd sign an order like that? I got one of them, Tom. 
He won't bother us for a while. Quit doing bother me, those kids. Look, a guy in there. You can't make me sign that order. No matter what you threaten or what you do. No. Well, you don't change your mind. And you'll sign that order, too. Before we get through with you. Oh. Down that way. Come on, Betty. Bob, you say you're on guard. Go ahead, Tom. See this, Mr. Hope? That's the water sluice. It's operated by a lever out in the corridor. It's put there by the old crank that built this place. For what purpose, nobody knows. But we do know that when that door is locked, this room is watertight and soundproof. Now, Mr. Hood. Well, the time is about up, Mr. Hood. It's Dan. Are you going to sign that order? Never you call it to be well. Oh! They're in that room down there. Betty, go back and get Bob, quick. Close the door, darling. All right. Now, Mr. Hood, you're going to sign this order. Don't anybody move. Come. Look out and back at him. I won't get closed. He must be out of the fire, Oh. Get him, Tom. Don't get him, Tom. Oh, 